I'm here today with Ben and we are going to play Tech Mobile. Ben, thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, uh, very glad. Uh, very glad to be here. We should probably explain why we're playing. See, Ben is one of the organizers of oh, the RBI I... Baseball and Tech Mobile National Championship in Omaha, Nebraska on August 17th. Can you kind of tell us some of the history behind this tournament, Ben? Sure. So the very first one was a Tech Mobile only tournament in 2016 at uh, uh, Brad Bell. Brad lives in Papillion. He's kind of like uh, the the father of the, the Tech Mobile community um, and a, a great player. So he hosted his first tournament. We were at Beercade back in 2016. Um, since then, we've done it every year, including the COVID year, which was a wild one. That one was kind of a invite only, and we played in an uh, abandoned office in a warehouse. That's a true story. <laughs> so uh, we, but yeah, it was it was that was something else. I'll remember that the rest of my life. Uh, but we needed lots of space to spread out because we had to maintain social distancing. Um, this year, it's the ninth tournament. We're going to be at DJ's Dugout. It's the one in Millard. Okay. Uh, so far west metro. Um, we've been at a different DJ's the past three years, switching up the venue this year. As a company, they've taken great care of us. They're really cool. We love the food. We love the staff. So it's August 17th uh, at the Miller DJ's, and it's going to kick off at 11 o'clock in the morning with RBI. And Tech Mobile probably going to start about six o'clock. RBI, the RBI tournament does tend to take just a little bit longer. So that's a, the tentative game plan. But it's it's thirty bucks if you want to play both, or twenty just for one game. Uh, and by one game, I mean to compete in one of the tournaments. One hundred percent payback to participants, right? So the winner and the placers will get one hundred percent of the entry fees. It's a great opportunity. We love these games. Some pretty strong friendships have grown up around this. And also, it's worth noting, we get guys coming in from all over. Uh, we have had guys come from Ontario, Canada, specifically to play RBI. And we've had a guy, I know, I know for sure, a guy from Minnesota is coming for RBI this year. Uh, Mark Bridges, one of the best RBI players, he comes up from Arkansas. We've had a couple of Canadians come down for Tech Mobile. We have drawn people from all over the Midwest uh, and uh, Colorado as well. So it's a good mix of locals and guys who are excited about the games and travel to Omaha to uh, to play in the tournament. The fact that people travel as far as they do especially from canada to participate in this speaks volumes of the thing that you guys have built and have created over the last almost 10 years i think that's so awesome. honestly yeah a lot of the credit goes to brad um he's the one who put in the legwork for many years now he had he's had some good friends who live up in canada play tech mobile for for many years so that's where they came from but the dudes who came down from ontario are just people brad met on a message board <laughs> <laughs> they decided to come and uh and they were were really good there was one guy see i happen to be i've been a lifelong toronto blue jays fan despite living mo most of my life in nebraska and i'm also i'm six six well they had a guy who was a toronto blue jays fan and he was like six seven or six eight his name was elliot and it was probably the first time in my life where I was not the tallest Toronto Blue Jays fan in any room that I was in. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So that was a special experience as well. <laughs> That's awesome. So, hey, you just you want to jump in and just decimate me at this game I've never played? You know what? Why don't you be Chicago? Oh. They're the best and most user friendly team. OK, I, I They're was, over there on the right. I'm a Dolphins fan. I was just going to pick Miami. But you know what? Miami, okay. Miami's a fun team, and I will be... I'll just be Dallas. There we go. All right. <laughs> I've uh, been playing a lot of retro. I hear good things about that game. I've never played it. I enjoy it but a it lot. But it looks fun. Yeah. Dante Levet is not the fastest return guy in the game. Oh wow! All right. 
Okay. So Nick, I'm I'm going to I'm going to lay something on here real quick and this is kind of like the foundational premise of defense in Tech Mobile. All right. There's more to it th- there's more to it than you might think with only just the four plays but this is the building block that everything else is kind of based on and that is when the offense runs the ball the players on the side that the ball is run to they're going to be blocked players on the opposite side are going to be unblocked. All right. So, for example, if I call run one here, that's a run to the top of the screen because you got to tip that player over on its side and you can see which way it's going to go. So the guys at the top of your defense are all going to be blocked, but the ones at the bottom are going to be unblocked. Right. So that's kind of like the foundation. Everything's kind of built off of that idea that whatever side the ball is run towards, those guys are going to be blocked. All right. So. Knowing that, let's let's dive right in here. Okay. Oh, Herschel. We needed more than that, baby. <laughs> oh man. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be sitting on that shotgun pass, huh? All right, I respect. That's the move, I think. Yeah, that's the best play in the playbook. Oh, jeez! All right, wow. You got me on the three and out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boot it back to you. Here. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yep, A will cycle through your receivers and B will will chuck the ball for you. Ow. All right. Hey. So I'm just gonna run it out here. You know, oftentimes if you if you throw to so what happened there on those last two plays, and you actually did it to me on my last two plays, it's called the play pick. It's where we both pick the same play. When that happens, all the receivers are gonna be covered. And the defense is going to rush in and tackle the quarterback real quick. And at the tournament, we just have a rule where you can't gain yards on the play pick because there are some routes that are kind of scummy and you can complete the, the pass no matter what. We don't want to play glitch ball up and down the field, right? For sure. But on the when you get play pick, you for sure do not want to pass the ball because it's almost always going to result in an interception. All right? Okay. Just something to keep in mind. So if you see that defense rushing in and it doesn't look like anybody's open, you probably got play pick. That is. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. There we go. Very nice. First one running wild and running free. I am so used to having a joystick just because that's all I'm used to. <laughs> Welcome to 1988, my man. All right, now Miami has a pretty good offense on this game, but they've got a they've got a crummy defense. Sounds about right. Yeah. I think that that was the story of Dan Marino's entire career. (laughs) And then as soon as they retired, they had the best defense in the league. They had like Zach Thomas and Jason Taylor and Sam Madison and Patrick Sertan. They were putting those guys out there with like Jay Fiedler at quarterback. What a nightmare. There we go. All right. 
what all right is, so what i'm what i'm gonna do just so you get a get a chance to get the hang of it here i'm just gonna call the run play for a while so like look at your receivers when they're going out mm-hmm. if there's a computer guy or me covering them you don't really want to throw there because it's probably going to get picked off right so just watch the guys go out and see who's open tap down to them and uh and try and knock some passes out here all right for sure, for sure. Ready, down. Put, 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 yeah, I'm ready put, whenever you... Put, 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 put. Not that one in. Not bad. I, uh... That wasn't what I intended to do, but... I think I'll... <laughs> I think I'm figuring it out. These controls are both eight really yards. simple and it's really eight yards. Okay. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. That's a good metaphor for the game itself. Got it. Okay. That's a nice shot. The it's really intriguing to me to play right. some of these older games and just see the amount of depth that they had with what they had. You know. Like you can fit the entire ooh nice shots. Um the entire NES library on you know such a small file space compared to any game now. It's just it's wild how much things have changed. Ready down put 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 You don't want to call that run play, dude. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I think nope. I hit the wrong combination of buttons. It, you know, that can happen sometimes. Um, what's funny, though, like the Miami run play is pretty good. It's blocked differently than any other play in the game. It's just that the running back is terrible. Ah. So it's kind of balanced. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get that one. I keep being a little too quick on the trigger and not actually trying to Ready, down. Put, 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 put. I'm mixing up my buttons what I'm doing. and it's just working out for me hey, that's two in a row I figured I might have had but hey that's how the game goes Can't yeah A will all. cycle through and B Ready, trucks down. it now the move on that that bottom oh oh, so here's a a helpful uh, hint right your first read when you call pass like what do you look at right after you snap the ball Mm-hmm. What I look at is that bottom outside linebacker because he's the guy who's going to be in coverage on that bottom wide receiver. Okay. So if I, if I snap the ball and the linebacker just stands still, he doesn't move. That means he's not in coverage and that bottom wide receiver is not, he's like, I still got to worry about the man defender, but there's no computer coverage on him. Right. Right. But if he moves, towards the wide receiver that means he is in coverage and i gotta look somewhere else so that's where my my eyes go right when i snap the ball okay Ready, down. Put, 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 put. like i saw he was open on that one and i was all right let's get let's get the ball out to him quick Okay. Ready, down. I think I'm put, 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 put. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, yes. Excellent help there from the, from the we call those drone defenders. Drone Ready, defenders? Down. 
Been playing Tech Mobile? Well, I mean, I played it when I was a kid, but as far as like, when did I? Here, I'll, I'll tell you after I run this play. Okay. So I played it when I was a kid, and then like, gosh, I think it was like 2013. I was working at KRVN in Lexington, mm-hmm. and we had our holiday party at a hotel in Kearney, Nebraska. And the next day I noticed that there was like this retro game store in town. So I went there and I bought a little gadget to play NES games. And then I bought uh, Gunsmoke, Legend of Zelda, the first one. And then they had both Tecmo Bowl and Tecmo Super Bowl. But I thought I could get a better price on Tecmo Super Bowl online. So I bought original Tecmo Bowl. And... Fooling around with the game, naturally, I turned to the internet to to learn more. And that's how I wound up getting in touch with Brad Bell, who I did not know lived in Nebraska at the time. But he, you know, he knows more about the guy, the game than the guys who made it at this point. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of struck up a friendship. And yeah, so I would say I've been playing competitively since 2016 and playing again since 2013. You, I got it. Did you, did you rush the passer on that one? I might have. Okay, you'll do way more damage being in coverage, right? Especially against like a crappy quarterback like Danny White, because he throws these meatball passes, and you've got you've got plenty of opportunity to cut in front of it and pick it off. Uh, whereas you usually will not make it to the quarterback in time to make a play. So just something to keep in mind. Okay. We got to give the we got to give the ball to Hirsch. Let him carry us in the end. So I was not alive when this game came out. Nor was you've I told alive. You told me you're a, a much younger man. Yes. Yes. Um, do you think that they did a good job translating the stats of these players into this game with what they could do? Oh. Oh, man, that is that's such an interesting question, right? Because to be honest with you, original tech mobile, like these rosters are what the NFL kind of looked like a few years before I became a fan, right? So, like, obviously, dudes like Dan Marino, John Elway, I know they are. Right. But there's a lot of guys who are out of the out of the league by the time I actually started paying attention. Brad has determined that this game is based mostly on the 19. Oh, and I also call the pass this time. So just to let you know. Um, uh, you got my dick. Just eat it. Oh, that's nice. Got away with it. Uh, um, it's mostly based on the 87 season. There are some players from like 86 and even a few roster moves that happened. Um, in the 88 season, but it's primarily 87. And his opinion is they did a, a good job of capturing the league and, and what it looked like at that time. He would know more about it than I do. So I will say there's a few guys who, like if you're not from that era, you might see their name and think, who? Like Fred Young. Have you ever yeah. heard the name Fred Young? Oh, you know Fred Young. Oh, See, I've been really vaguely familiar. Vaguely familiar. So he's one of the best players on the game. In 
and that's because like when he was with the Seahawks, he was a pro bowler, his special teams. He had a huge year in 87. Well, right after that, he gets traded to Indianapolis and gets hurt and his career is basically over. Meanwhile, a guy like Richard Dent, who's in the Hall of Fame, is not very good on this game. That was my bad. I didn't have any word from. It's yeah, it's no worry. You can always just tuck the ball and take off with the quarterback. You're not going to go that fast with Marino, but fair enough. I do what you got to do. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Oh, jeez. Is he going to take it in? Ten. No. Get back. <laughs> oh, the Dallas, the Dallas receivers are terrible. I knew he wasn't going to have the speed to get me in, but man, we got to try. as well as you could have uh, no no worries on that you came very close to actually grappling me as the quarterback and getting the sack I just barely got that pass off so fair play on that one I thought it I thought you played what well, played it well I can't believe I've gone this long in my life without ever playing this game so have you ever played Tecmo Super Bowl it's the sequel. Okay. Uh, no way. Prune is not going to have this on me. Yo. Absolutely not. Yo. Absolutely not. Go, 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 on, go, 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 go. Absolutely not. Yes. <sighs> Great bring back. All right. I don't have anyone who can block an extra point, so. Oh, nice job. Anyway, no, I've never played Super Bowl or Tech Bowl. This is all new territory for me. My first game system was a game here, and I didn't actually uh, play that many. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, there's, there's babes in the Tech Bowl halftime show, man. No, but uh, I, didn't, All right. I didn't really play a lot of football games growing up. Like, I'd play them sometimes, but uh, I grew up in a NASCAR family, so I'd play oh, a lot of sure. NASCAR games, but I didn't really, funny enough, didn't get into football until a few years ago. Oh, wow. Like, I, I played football growing up because that's what you do in a small town in Iowa, but I never really sure. paid attention, except I'd watch the Super Bowls growing up, and my first favorite player, I don't know why, I mean, I do know why he's amazing. Larry Fitzgerald. I don't even care about the Cardinals. Yeah. But Larry Fitzgerald is amazing. I read that Larry Fitzgerald has more tackles on interceptions than he does drops in his career. Whoa. That's yeah. I mean, the guy is he's got the best hands of all time. I love that guy, too. Also not a Cardinals fan. He's I think he's the reason I love wide receivers so much. And I think that's part of the reason that's kind of what drew me more to the Dolphins, because I I picked the Dolphins as my team uh, because when I started my current job, I didn't have a team. So a team got picked for me and it was the very last uh, Brian Flores year of the Dolphins. So they were garbage. But <laughs> so it was kind of a bit for a while. I was like, yep, I'm a Dolphins fan. And then what really turned me around was game three of 2022. It was the Dolphins Bills game and the Dolphins had beat the Bills at Hard Rock Stadium. And I remember then and there is when I decided to go all in. <laughs> that's when it became real. You became a real boy at that moment. That's exactly when I grew up. All right, now let's see. Now let's see if you if you think you're going to house back to back kick returns on me with James Pruitt. Here we go. <laughs> James Pruitt, slowest return man in the game. I can't have this, boys. I cannot have this. I'm just glad that that was important. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's <laughs> never going to happen again. <laughs> I am, however, going to go back to call and run. Take your time with these passes. Pick your shots. Fire it in there, okay? Okay. Put, 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 put. I thought it was open. So, I it was open. Uh, here, what I'm just gonna—I'm gonna give it right back to you. All right, that was a false no, start here in a second. That was a false start here in the second half. Holding on to play. We'll start back over at the twenty. Okay, let's try to do this right this time, Nick. Ready, down. Put, 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 you know, I think put, I may have called the pass play here by accident. I did. Oh, didn't get it up. Nice shot. Dude, Mark Clayton, a Dalton's legend. He and Mark Duper, your other receiver, both Dalton's legends. I've been trying to read more into the history of the Dolphins. Um, it's a really fascinating game. Put, 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 put. I'm having a hard time telling what's open and what isn't. And that's just me being not used to so, graphics, I think. I get that. And it's like you kind of have to like multitask, right? Because like I said, the first thing I look at when I snap is that bottom outside linebacker. Mm -hmm. But then right after that, you got to find the player defender. So it's like, boom, boom. All right. So he's either open or not. And then I need to find where the player defender is. And yeah, there's a lot that you got to kind of figure out in about two seconds. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it can be a whole thing. I appreciate your patience with me while I learned this game. Oh, I mean, it's like I told you, it's no fun for anybody just to. Oh, that's Herschel's power, though. Uh, It's way more fun if both guys feel like they've got a fighting chance, or at least they're making progress and figuring things out, you know? Mm -hmm. Honestly, um, I feel, even though, um, wow, a little, a little fancy there, even though I know I'm <laughs> not playing this game well, I'm still having a good time because it's still football. And it's still there's still some there's something special about this game to where I'm not getting mad that I'm getting absolutely trounced, you know? These are extremely well put together games. Considering that this was programmed by some guy in a closet in Tokyo in nineteen eighty eight. Really? You know? Like what well, you know, it was made in Japan. They made all their games over there back then. That's fair. So the fact that they um it, that it's as good as it is it really oh, is put, 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 put. My dog's been very itchy lately he he's got allergies so oh, no. we'll have to give well yeah we'll have to give him some medicine here after I don't want to go out there. You need to not get near my cords, please. Here we go. Operation Pruitt shutdown. Here we go. <laughs> Most yards on. I was in really bad route. position on that, but the drone bailed me out. So. <laughs> Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Oh, that was a run play. That's not the play that I had. I'm just I'm fat fingering things. It's. The combination of things I'm so used to with Madden or the new college football, like, you just hit a button, you know? Ready, down, put, 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 put. So, confession, I have not played the new college football yet. How is it? Uh, I enjoy it a lot. I've been 
getting a lot of grief with how I'm playing it. Um, I'm doing kind of a role play thing with it. Where I'm starting out on, um, I started out on a road to glory, right? And after my road to glory, I'm going to transition into dynasty where I started out as an offensive coordinator and I'm going to try to create that character if for my road to glory to be like an offensive coordinator, you know, like he couldn't make it in the pros, sure. but here's this. And then I'm just going to kind of let the game decide where I'm going to coach kind of do it that That's way. Cool. But a lot of yeah. the guys that I work with, uh, think that road to glory down. is put, 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 put. not a good mode, which is fair. The bad version isn't very good, but I'm really enjoying how they set it up with a uh, college football because it feels a little more natural. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Have, you ever, have you ever played any of like the career mode in Madden? So man, I haven't really played Madden in like almost 20 years. I did okay. play, I did play the college football games up until they stopped making them the first time. <laughs> Uh, just a little more my speed. I was also terrible at passing on that. It would bum me out. <laughs> I didn't want to play it anymore. That's fair. Um, so, in Madden, um, Madden 21 is the one that I've played the absolute most just because I don't buy them yearly. Sure. Um, so the career mode in that game. I have that. Oh, nice shot. It's like you're this super, and I'm saying this as a Gen Z. You're a super Gen Z. Um, the character is really hard to, for me to like, so it makes it hard for me to care about him. He doesn't act anything like how I feel like I would in that kind of situation, you know? It's just really, it sounds sure. dumb, but it's Ready, not very down. immersive. Put, 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 put. <laughs> Is it, like, is it just poorly written or what's the deal? It's pretty poorly written. Um, it feels almost like a character of what they think an 18 year old in 2021 would have been like. <laughs> it's very hey fellow kids. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. <laughs> oh, you nailed me. So, I, one of my favorite memories from like i think ncaa 14 whatever the the, the last one prior to this new one was mm -hmm. i was at idaho and i had to call a recruit and i was just starting out and he was like a two-star fullback <laughs> and he refused to come to idaho as a two-star fullback because he told me that he didn't think i could get him to the pros and i i remember <laughs> Being angry at this video game 18 year old like brother i'm the only one talking to you you're a two-star fullback you're not going to the pro and i was so perturbed by this fake young person and i ended up leaving idaho because i was like this can't happen to me again i need a more this job that's amazing. That's see. That's what I like the most about these games is I think they really lend themselves to those kinds of situations. You know, like it's a sandbox. It's just a big sandbox, and it puts together really ridiculous scenarios and situations that I think makes it feel real. Oh, for sure. Like I remember very distinctly sitting in my living room. Uh, you start pullback who thought he was too good for Idaho. So in my current in my current run, I'm a junior right now, and I just transferred to Kansas from NIU. And mind you, I'm a I'm a white receiver. Uh, and both years, my freshman and sophomore year at NIU, we have gone to the um, what what conference is that again? Whatever that conference moved to the championship. At NIU? Yeah. Aren't they, aren't they at the MAC? Yeah, the MAC. 
Okay. So yeah. we went to the MAC championship. We lost it both times, but we went to the MAC championship. We were ranked um, ten by sophomore year. We had won twelve games in a row, but we lost to a crappy little unranked team that dropped us down. Uh, still ranked eighteenth, but it took us out of the playoff contention. And. Okay. But then I got mad because all of Ready, down. their put, plays. Put, 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 put. Nice oh. shot, dude. Thank you. They were using me as a blocking uh, receiver. I'd get the ball sometimes. Ready, down. And I didn't like put, that. Put, 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 so I transferred to Kansas. I signed or committed. Here, I'm gonna give it back to you. All right, two more passes. We're almost. Yeah, there's only 29 seconds left. After I committed, I saw that they went like ten, uh, two and ten the previous year. And I'm like, oh no! But now I'm the hero of Kansas. I just have a really bad quarterback. <laughs> and I get I get so frustrated because it's like I would I will down. be wide put, open put, put, put. and he'll choose to run it like I did there for some reason he'll choose to run it instead of giving it to me wide open and we keep losing games because put, of this put, guy put, put, put. and part of me just wants to transfer back to NIU or just go s like figure out something for my senior year. <laughs> but you no you can't you can't go back to NIU. Go back with your tail between your legs? What's the quarterback? What year is he? Uh, he's a freshman. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Maybe he'll get better. Uh, it's, it's my last It's my last year, though, you know? I don't want to waste my senior year of college. <laughs> I don't think you can walk away from being the hero of Kansas, to be honest with you. Oh. <laughs> uh. That was that was on me. I'm not really paying attention. I was telling that God, story. It's all right. Ready, down, put, put. I hate I hate that quarterback so Ready, much. This down, fake put, fictional put, put, put. boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of whoever the coach is in this version, this universe, too. I consistently get the, the most receptions. Kansas coach? Yes, we don't have actual coaches. In the game. It's all just fake. Well, made up they people. Can't, you can't pay them as cheaply as you can pay the players, I would think. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure why the coaches aren't there. couple decent drives together too the problem is with tech mobile is like you just gotta like hit like 10 good things in a row and then you can score a touchdown you know what i mean but that's the challenge right mm -hmm. so yeah it is i kind of we talked about some of the very basic stuff like first reads and the basic defensive fundamentals but there's like when you've got a couple of guys who know what they're doing, there's a lot of stuff that's being thought about. Like if you call, if the defense calls one play, they know that if the offense calls the other, then we know which computer guys are going to be in coverage on those plays. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you recognize what's happening as soon as the ball is snapped. And then that helps you make a decision on what you need to do on defense so that you can engage with it as, like uh, shallowly or as deeply as you want, right? Because it goes deeper than you would think a, a game with, with four plays would. It really does. Like the depth of this game, I had kind of mentioned it earlier. It's both extremely simple and very complex at the same time. And I, it's more than I, I didn't expect it genuinely at all from a game made when it was, which is me just being an ignorant youth, I guess. But... 
<laughs> but it's held up remarkably well. Well, hey, I really appreciate you taking it. You spent your whole evening doing this. I really appreciate that. We've been at this for like almost two hours. Dude, I had such that's a great very, time. I love playing awesome. video games. I just love that this is a thing that you guys are doing. Do you have any... You, I know you had mentioned the 2020 season, how you guys were in this big warehouse. Do you have any other fun or memorable stories from uh, this tournament? Well, I got one. I got one that a lot of your listeners will appreciate. So Brad made contact with a, a filmmaker and kind of told him the story of how he, you know, why he took tech mobile so seriously and, and, and all this stuff. And, and it, it ties back to, you know, friendships he had when he was a kid. Well, the filmmaker decided that it was interesting enough that he was going to shoot a document documentary about it. The same filmmaker is also shooting a documentary about um, Bears Super Bowl champion quarterback Jim McMahon. Is that a name you are familiar with? It's not. 85 Bears. OK. OK. I know so the 85 Jim, Bears. Jim yeah, well, he was the quarterback, right? Okay. Uh, Fate, another fascinating man, famous for, you know, his, like, he was such a bad dude that he was the only offensive player, he and Peyton, that the Bears defenders respected, right? So Jim came out to the 2021 tournament. Like, he came to Omaha. And when Nate Murs won the title that year, Mers is a guy who he's good friends with Brad, great player, had come up short um, in previous tournaments. So he wins, and then it's Jim friggin' McMahon, Super Bowl champion QB, handing him his trophy at the end of the <laughs> tournament. <laughs> so, like, that's probably, that's the most legendary tournament of all time, the 2021 one, where, uh, where Jim was there. But, so anyway... The filmmaker, CJ, he uh, he loves Tech Mobile now. He plays in our online draft league. He will be there in Omaha uh, here in a couple of weeks when we have the tournament. So that's probably the most interesting thing that has come from it. The COVID year tournament was, I mean, that was wild. And an abandoned office building and warehouse. Um, yeah, nothing nothing can really top 2021 with, with Jim McMahon. That is amazing. <laughs> I, Dude, it really is. Like, I forget. I for like, I wasn't even thinking about that when I told the 2020 story. And I was like, you know, I probably should have led with Jim friggin McMahon being at the 2021 tournament. You know, but I forget. It was so odd. I for, I kind of forget it's real. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it was just such a bizarre thing. Like, I've been this documentary has been a work in progress for a few years now like i have been interviewed in it i will be in the movie when it comes out but the whole experience was just so foreign to anything i've ever done in my life i like forget that it's real sometimes mm -hmm. yeah it's definitely real i've met jim mcmahon <laughs> that's that's amazing i love yeah. that this these kind of events this thing uh from these games that are decades old are still able to bring people together and give us these stories even in, into the 2020s. Well, and the thing that has been so special about the Omaha tournament and like five years ago, I was the first person. I don't know if I was the first person to ever beat Brad in a tournament, but I was the first person to ever beat him in a finals. He had never lost a tournament. <laughs> and then I beat him in the 2019 tournament. But I told him like the next day, because, you know, listen, emotions, emotions run high. No one ever fights or gets mad. But sometimes, you know, you don't necessarily want to have a heart to heart right after a game, especially like a finals or something. So I told him the next day that his friendship and Merz's friendship and then Richie Smith is another good friend of mine in Omaha who I met through this. And now all these guys I've met online because of Tech Mobile at I'm like that means a lot more to me than winning winning the tournament does absolutely but winning the tournament is nice i'm not <laughs> i'm not gonna lie like that's it's it's pretty sweet i still have the trophy it's here on my desk i'm looking at it right now um so that, oh sorry 
Oh, go ahead. So that kind of leads into my last question for you. Um, yes, what sir. are these games, the league, and these tournaments, what do they mean to you, like, personally? Well, I mean... Dude, I live in a small town in Nebraska. I don't, I don't get out much. So like a lot of like my social contact with people outside of work by my choice is these online leaks that I'm in. Uh, I look forward to Omaha, going to Omaha every year. Um, seeing people who, you know, you wish you saw more often, but you know, for sure you're going to see them in Omaha. That's what I look forward to. And I like the competition. I genuinely do. I enjoy these games a lot. But what makes Omaha so much more special than just playing them online is, like, it's just way better to sit down next to your buddy and play a game of RBI and shoot the breeze while you're playing and having a laugh when, you know, like Kent Herbeck crushes one (laughs) over the center field scoreboard on you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's a great, it's a great feeling. So the games are fun. But it's the experience of having a good time um, with your buddies that that makes it uh, worthwhile for me. That's all any of us can really ask for. I've I've been playing video games for my entire life, and that's I can echo that sentiment. I haven't had the same experiences that you've had meeting legendary quarterbacks, but I think (laughs) because also coming from a small town, it really is a way to connect with other people from different walks of life, but really find that connection that brings you together with this person on the other side of the country, or even somebody in Canada where you, we can all just come together in this communal space and just play ball and shoot the breeze. Well, you're absolutely right about that. But also I will tell you that if Brad Bell didn't live in the Omaha area, my, like, you know, my life would have worked out a lot differently. Like if he lived out in Ohio, I'm probably not going to his tournaments. You know what I mean? Although mm-hmm. like people do travel for him as, as we discussed, but yeah, it was kind of like the kismet of he was close and he put in so much work to spread the word <laughs> on those early tournaments. He really busted his butt. So because of he and he is actually he's not directly involved with the tournament this year. A group of us have, have kind of taken it over from him. We're, we are still using his stuff. Um, he's been uh, very great, very gracious in letting us use it. But it's because of the effort that he put into it that we're doing that we've had the opportunity to do this stuff. And so I will always recognize uh, Brad for the just enormous amount of work he's he's done to organize these over the years ben thank you so much for hanging out with me and showing me these games and not beating me too bad at all of these um it's oh my the, dude hey listen, you should you should come out to the tournament it's the 17th you'll have fun that is the <laughs> Tech Mobile National, the RBI Baseball and Tech Mobile National Championship in Omaha on August 17th. Uh, is there any any final parting words you would like to leave? Uh, I do want to note that anyone who comes up and signs up, these tournaments, both tournaments are going to start with group play, right? And so that's three games you're going to get. And then whether or not like you win or not, we'll have more games for you, right? Like there'll be a consolation bracket. So you don't have to worry about showing up and paying your money and being done in 45 minutes. You know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. you're going to, even if you get waxed, you're going to have plenty of opportunity to play some games and have fun. So that's the one, the one thing I want to stretch. It's a very er, stress rather. It's a very accessible event in my opinion. Perfect. Ben, thank you again so much. Um, Good luck on the tournament this year. And I'm glad that you and your group of guys are able to keep this going. I didn't find out about this until you'd shot us an email. And I wish that I would have known about this forever. Like this just sounds like such a fun and cool and unique event. It's it's worth seeing at at least once in your life, I'd say. I really appreciate you taking the time in. Thank you. Yeah, dude, of course. No worries. No worries.